I am Asima Vishwar. Today I will discuss about role of monetary policy in developing countries. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel Economic Tech. The monetary policy in developing countries or in developing economy will have to be quite different from that of a developed economy mainly due to different economic conditions and requirements of the two types of economies. A developed countries may adopt full employment, price stability, exchange stability as a goal of monetary policy. But in developing or underdeveloped countries, economic growth is the primary and basic necessity. Okay. Those in developing economy, the monetary policy should aim at promoting economic growth. The monetary authority of a developing economy can play a vital role by adopting such monetary policy which creates conditions necessary for rapid economic growth. Monetary policy can solve the following developmental requirements of developing economies. First, developmental role. Okay. In a developing economy, the monetary policy can play a significant role in accelerating economic development by influencing the supply and uses of credit, controlling inflation, and maintaining balance of payments once development gains momentum. Effective monetary policy can help the meeting the requirements of expanding trade and population by providing elastic supply of credit. Second, creation and expansion of financial institutions. The primary aim of monetary policy in developing economy must be to improve its currency and credit system. More banks and financial institutions should be set up, particularly in those areas which lack these facilities. The extension of commercial banks and setting up of other financial institutions like saving banks, cooperative savings societies, mutual societies, etc. will help in increasing credit facilities mobilizing voluntary saving of the people and channelizing them into productive uses. It is also the responsibility of the monetary authority to ensure that the funds of the institution are diverted into priority sectors or industries as per requirements of development plans of the authority hard, effective central banking to meet the developmental needs. The central bank of the older developed country must function effectively to control and regulate the volume of credit through various monetary instruments like bank rate, open market operations, cash reserve ratio, etc. Greater and more effective credit controls will influence the allocation of resources by diverting, saving and speculative and unproductive activities to productive uses. Integration of organized and unorganized money market. Most of the countries are characterized by dual monetary system in which a small but highly organized money market. Okay. On the other hand, and large but unorganized money, on the other hand, operates simultaneously. The unorganized money market remains outside the control of central bank by adopting effective measures. The monetary authority should integrate the unorganized and unorganized sect of the monetary market. Okay. Five, developing Banking habits. The monetary authority of a less developed country should take appropriate measures to increase the pro proportion of bank money in the total money supply of the country. This requires 
increase in the bank deposits by developing the banking habits of the people and popularizing the use of credit instruments. Six, monetization of economy. An underdeveloped country is also marked by the existence of non-monetized sector. In this sector, all transactions are made through barter system and checks in money supply and rate of interest don't influence the economic activity at all. The monetary authority should take measures to monetize this non-monetized sector and bring it under its control. Seven, integrated interest rate structures. In an underdeveloped economy, there is absence of an integrated interest rate structure. There is wide disparity of interest rates prevailing in the different sectors of the economy and these rates don't respond to the changes in the bank rate. Thus, making the monetary policy ineffective, the monetary authority should take effective steps to integrate interest rate structure of the economy. Okay, a debt management. Debt management is another function of monetary policy in a developing country. Debt management aims are deciding proper timing and issuing of government bonds, stabilizing the prices, C, minimizing cost and servicing public debts. The success of debt management requires the existence of a well developed money and capital market along with a variety of short term and long term securities. 9. Maintaining equilibrium. The monetary policy in a developing economy should also solve the problem of adverse balance of payments. Such a problem generally arises in the initial stages of economic development when the import of machinery, raw material, etc. increase considerably but the export may not increase to the same extent. The monetary authority should adopt direct foreign exchange controls and other measures to correct the adverse balance of payments. Okay. Then, controlling inflationary pressures, developing economies are highly sensitive to inflationary pressures. Large expenditures on developmental schemes increase aggregate demand, but output of consumers' goods does not increase in the same proportion. This leads to inflationary rising prices. Thus, the monetary policy in developing economies should serve to control inflationary tendencies by increasing saving by the people, taking expansion of credit by the banking system and discouraging deficit financing by the government. 11. Long term loans for industrial development. Monetary policy can promote industrial development in the underdeveloped countries by promoting facilities of medium term and long term loans to the manufacturing units. The monetary authority should induce these banks to grant long term loans to the industrial units by providing rediscounting facilities. Other development financial institutions also provide long term productive loans. 12. Reforming rural credit system. Okay, rural credit system is defective and rural credit facilities are deficient in underdeveloped countries. Small cultivators are poor, have no finance of their own and are largely dependent on loans from village money lenders and traders who generally exploit the helplessness, ignorance, necessity of these poor borrowers. The monetary authority can play an important role in providing both short-term and long-term credit to the small arrangements so as the establishment of cooperative credit societies and agricultural banks. So these are the role of monetary policy in developing economy. Okay. Thanks for watching.